I cannot believe it is literally 2021 tomorrow. Like, where did this year go? On one side, I'm literally like, why is this year dragged on forever? Like every date seems to be so long. And on the other side, I'm like, it literally felt like it was turning 2020 <laughs> two minutes ago. I cannot believe it is New Year tomorrow. I'm gonna be talking to you in this video all about the biggest thing I have actually learned this year, what I've come to the realization of. And this is actually very recently in the past few weeks. And I've been sort of going through this and practicing this. So I wanted to talk about this with you. So if you wanna find out what it is, then keep watching. <laughs> Welcome if you are new here. My name is Hetty and on this channel we discuss all things positive, high vibe and how to use the law of attraction to manifest the life of your dreams. If you haven't already then hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications for this channel so you don't miss any more wonderful content like this. Now let's get into today's video. So the video today is all about the biggest thing I have learned this year. This is something I've come to the realisation um, about in the past few weeks really. I've kind of sat back and thought like oh my god like revelation so if you haven't watched any of my other videos i sort of started on my spiritual like law of attraction journey officially really at the start of this year and i've kind of learned so much since starting this journey and reading you know reading the secret and starting there to reading all these self-development materials and spiritual books and watching all this content and just putting things into practice myself and it is only until very recently like a full year so immersed in all of this that I've actually realized the biggest lesson about the law of attraction which people do not talk about they do not tell you I've watched thousands of videos and read thousands of books and they don't talk about this specific thing which I think is the biggest block to manifestation that I have actually come across so far in my own personal life and I think if you know about the law of attraction and you know all about manifestation then this is the biggest block you will come across and you probably don't even realise it. So, we all have desires, right? We all have wants and we all want certain relationships or maybe a house or a job or whatever it is, a car. We maybe want to look a certain way and that's all classed as a desire. Now, a lot of the time on the journey of the law of attraction and manifestation, we can be really put off about the idea of having desires. We are told that desires are um, you know, the root of all evil. That's what Buddha says, you know, when you have a desire that is something that's like holding on to something and attachment, sorry, attachment is the root of, root of all suffering is what Buddha said, that's desire. Attachment comes from desire. So when we learn about this, we can be very put out by the facts and, and conflicted about the idea that we might still have desires and we might still be on this spiritual journey and we might still want to be using the law of attraction to manifest, but we're thinking, well, how can I have desires and let them go and not have desires and not have attachment, but I still want these things in my life. And that is totally okay. I am here to tell you that it is 100% natural to have desires in your life. It is impossible to get rid of all desires unless you are like a yogi master living in the mountains. You are still living in this physical reality. You still have physical material things around you. Like you still have glasses, you still have a phone, you still have like a roof over your head. That is all physical material things that you have manifested from some kind of desire at some point. So it's totally natural to have that. It's totally normal to say, okay, you know, maybe I've got a car at the moment, but I would like this car. Like I would like to, you know, get myself a little bit more of a nicer car next. It's totally normal. We do not need to feel guilty about that. Now, a lot of the time people talk about letting go of attachment to desires. And I have spoken about that a lot in my videos and letting go of your attachment to your desire is really the key to manifestation but what happens a lot of the time is we wonder how we can let go of the desire but still want it and it seems almost like paradoxical to say hey have this desire about a relationship a car a job but let it go i just don't even think about it and just 
don't do anything about it just let it go like don't have that desire anymore and i think that's a message we can pick up a lot of the time and when we listen to videos and when we read certain material about letting go of attachment now what i've actually come to the realization of in the past few weeks is it's not letting go of your desire it is impossible and unnatural to let go of your desire once you have a desire implanted, the universe knows about that desire, you've asked, it is already given, and it's just the process of letting it in. So how do we really let go of the desire if we actually still want the desire without feeling guilty about it and without feeling like we are putting a block on it ourselves? So the biggest lesson I have learned this past year, just in this past few weeks even, is that Sometimes we have too much an attachment to the law of attraction and the whole manifestation process. So it can be very much like we are holding on to, you know, all of our manifestation and we're like, okay, I need to make sure that the process is perfect. I need to make sure, right, I've asked for a car and I want the car. I need to make sure I don't think about it. I need to make sure I don't have an attachment and I don't have a desire. And you're like, no, 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 I don't care about it. Like, I don't desire it, like whatever. <laughs> but that's not the case, you're lying to yourself when you say that. You still desire what it is that you have asked for. What you have to let go of is the outcome of it. So how that's gonna come about and when that is gonna come about for you. So we let go of the how and the when, not the desire. The desire is still there and you can still think about it. If it comes up in your mind and you're thinking positive thoughts about it, that's totally natural, that is totally normal. You don't have to then shut your thoughts off and go, oh my God, oh my God, I'm, I'm daydreaming about it, I'm fantasizing about it, whatever, like it's not natural, shut it off. That is creating more resistance around that desire and that is why it is not manifesting for you and it's taken a lot longer. So what we have to remember is we let go of the how and the when because the universe or God or your higher self or whatever you believe it is sorts that out for you. They sort out the how and the when because if you think of it in this way, so whatever you believe in, they can see an unfolding of time and an unfolding of every single possible path that you could be on. So for example, right now, if you are desiring a house and you're like, I really desire a house, you know, I've let it go, like I'm not too attached about it, like I'm trying to do the manifestation process correctly, but like, I do kind of want it now, like if we could just hurry up, your higher self or the universe can see how that would unfold for you if you got that desire right now. So it could see that in two months time, you potentially lose your job or have to look for another job, or maybe in two months time, a better house would come on the market that you were looking for. And that's why it's not coming about to you just yet. So with the when, you have to be patient with that you have to just allow it to unfold naturally and trust that when you are ready for it when everything is lined up for that's coming to your life perfectly that's when it'll happen it will it will manifest and unfold at the perfect moment you wouldn't want for example a relationship to come into your life if you're not ready if you have a horrible job and you're you're stressing out about your house and you've got a thousand other things to go on you wouldn't necessarily want that relationship you're potentially asking for right now at that moment because it might mean that you're stressy and you're aggy and you're not your true self and then when you're in this relationship it doesn't play out very well and you put all that stress into the other person and that's sometimes what we cannot see right now we cannot see the future we have feelings and we can trust that it's all going to unfold but we don't have to know exactly when and it's the same with the how i think of it like this if i knew exactly how all my desires were going to unfold life would be so boring i have a hundred percent trust and faith in the universe that whatever i ask for is going to be brought about to me in the perfect way however that may be and it might seem like it's a very long time down the line and you know like oh okay like you know I, I just i want this specific thing to happen this specific way imagine if we were wanting a relationship and we were like right Okay, so I'll kind of let go of it, but you know, if it could happen like this, I could leave the house at 10 past 10, I would drive to the coffee shop and I would bump into this really amazing guy or girl and they would turn around and like, I'd spill my coffee on them a little bit and they'd be like, oh, it's okay. And we'd go and get dry cleaning done together and we'd go and get all this other stuff. 
you can see how like having that attachment to that series of unfolding events absolutely narrows your window for that opportunity to happen for you that isn't to say that things like that don't happen of how you've seen sequences unfold and then you're like that's how i imagined it would happen but to get too detailed and specific about the how is putting the resistance again on your manifestation now something has happened to me very recently which i am very excited to share with you but i am not going to share it with you just yet because i need to make sure you know everything is totally sorted with it and everything is you know perfectly amazing i will be sharing that with you in the new year but in that process of things i have seen myself just how letting go of you know specifics and super detailedness of things actually has helped me out and brought my manifestation about so much quicker way sooner than i even thought it was possible and i'm really excited to share that with you it's been probably the biggest thing if we say anything's big that i've ever manifested so i'm really excited to share that with you but me letting go of the specific details of that is what has actually helped and sped that up for me because it means i've not got that attachment and that resistance to that so my advice would be that if there is something you're wanting to manifest at the moment it's not coming about it's taking a little bit longer be patient don't worry about the when if you know and you have that gut feeling in your gut or your heart or wherever you feel it then just know that that is manifesting for you in the perfect time just know that everything is unfolding in that way brilliantly for you and everything will line up when you're ready and don't force yourself to be ready you can sit back and say i don't know when it's going to happen actually like i trust that when i'm ready and when everything in my life is lining up that these things will just come into my life now the second thing is to let go of the how so don't be so specific you don't have to be so detailed now it can be great to you know write a letter and be like this is how i want it all to come about but let that go you don't have to do that you don't have to be too specific especially if you're feeling a little bit nervous or unsure about it and you're you know you feel like writing the details wouldn't help you don't worry about it because it'll unfold in such a fun exciting way and it will open you up to more avenues of possibility that could take you down that will still be amazing and beautiful and wonderful so let go of the how and the when and let go of the attachment to the law of attraction. I think myself for too long have been focusing on like I'll have a thought about something and I'll be thinking, am I doing this right? Am I acting in the right way? Is the law of attraction like, oh my God, I, I thought of something negative. Like, oh my God, it's going to go opposite for me. And you can get in your head too much about things sometimes, especially with the law of attraction when you learn the secret to manifest in your dream life. So let go of the law of attraction it sounds so paradoxical but that is what i've learned as well everything that we want is just a paradox so as long as we just let go of that we don't have to let go of the desire we can still have a vision board up that says i'm gonna have this job and i'm gonna earn this much money and i'm gonna do this but all the details about how and when don't need to be figured out and don't get yourself in a rut if you think it's not working for me yet it hasn't happened yet like and then you're almost fine for like a month or two and then you're like okay i'm getting to the point where i really need it to happen but when we need something to happen we're not ready for it if we need it in our lives we are not ready to move forward with it and welcome it naturally and freely so that is the biggest lesson that i have actually learned this year and i'm so excited to share that with you and i can't wait to share my exciting news that is happening for me next year and yeah i will be sharing that with you i promise but once i follow this literally within two weeks like what i've wanted for such a long time like manifested like everything is just going so quickly because i've just let go and i allow myself to feel what i feel and just do what i do and just say yeah however long it's going to take like that's fine i know it's coming about i don't really care about how and it's all just going really well <laughs> so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video and i'm wishing you all the love peace joy and happiness for 2021 it is going to be the best year of all of our lives we have been through so much this year and we can leave that behind we can move forward in the new year i know it is literally to me i just think it is literally just a day but it can signify like a new cycle um, of time and energy for everyone so i really think 2021 is going to bring so much more joy into all of our lives 
So I'm wishing you the happiest of new year and I really am so grateful for all of you supporting me on my journey with this. I love sharing my stories with you and I've got so many more exciting stories to share with you next year. So yeah, I hope you have really enjoyed watching me and me like continuing forward on my journey. Um, and yeah, it's it'll be exciting. I hope for you to see me like grow into this and maybe like get, you know, more ideas, like all my manifestations actually coming about. That's why I wanted to share all this and document it with you. But yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. And until next year, <laughs> I um, yeah, keep, keep spreading the positive vibes and love and I will see you soon. Mwah.